Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, Ronan. Good evening. How are you doing, Daniel? Hi. Just fine? Yes, I'm fine. And you? Very good. I'm okay. I'm uh, ready to start with a new class. Okay. Are, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. More than ready, right? Very ready. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I have Rona here. So we're gonna we're gonna do something. Meanwhile, the rest of the people uh get into the class, all right? Eh, Daniel, le comento que no ha obtenido todavía el 100% en la primera actividad. No sé si ha, ha cubierto, quiero ver, hoy estamos a día miércoles. Hoy tendríamos que cubrir la, la tercera actividad de la plataforma. En la primera, si mal no recuerdo, no obtuvo el 100%. Es necesario que, que si, si, digamos, si se equivocó en la primera vez, que vuelva a hacer la actividad no vuelva, ajá. hasta lograr el 100%. Ahora lo pero, voy a comentar. Uh -huh. No, pero si ya completé hasta la segunda actividad. Con el 100%, pero en la primera okay. actividad no sí, tiene. Yo creo que la primera vez, y no, no, pero ahí lo volví a hacer. Ah, perfecto. Porque este me faltaba la primera y hice la segunda también. Ok, um, pero si gusta, vuelva a hacer mientras los Ajá. demás se, se conectan para sacarse el, el 100%. Bye. Ok, el importantísimo okay. que sea 80, 100%. Ok, uh -huh. mientras más puntaje vayan obteniendo es mucho mejor. Ok. Ok, lo mismo con, con, con Ronan. Ok, Ronan. Hola, uh, hola. Hola, hola. Hello. Good evening. No sé si escuchó la indicación que le di a Daniel. Ah, sí, la, la segunda dice ahora yo. O, ok, asegúrense de obtener el 100%. Hello, Teresa. Good evening. Ok, I will wait for, for everybody to be in the class. Voy a esperar que la mayoría esté eh, presente para dar algunas indicaciones. Good evening, Belén. Good evening. Hello, Hello. Good, evening. good evening. Good evening, Berenice. How's it going? So, the very favorite track TV at your camera, that, that was better, right? It's better when we see each other, when we interact that way. Well, have a lot of a lot of activities. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have a, a really interesting um lesson tonight. Okay, you will see. Have a lot of work to do. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? ¿Todo estuvo bien? Del 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 uno al cien vienen con todos los ánimos. Del 1 al 100, o a, quiero ver por ahí hasta el cuánto estamos con las energías esta noche. Hay bastante trabajo, ya tengo preparado bastante trabajo. Eh, los que recién se conectan, este, quiero que por favor vayan a la, a la, a la plataforma porque este, estoy viendo que no han obtenido el 100% en, en las actividades. Recuérdense, primera actividad y segunda actividad... Tienen que estar completas, pero no solo, eh, no solo es eso, sino que necesito también que, que opten por, por resultados entre 80 y el 100%. Si es el 100%, es perfecto. Yo, pues, la mayoría, pues, eh, logra el 100%, porque como las actividades en realidad son cortas, y, este, y mmm, alguna que otra sí son un poquito difíciles, pero la mayoría son solo para reafirmar lo que se ha estado estudiando. Entonces me gustaría que, pues, si no lo hacen en este momento, que, que lo hagan, pues, después de la clase, que, que revisen, ok, eh, que vuelvan a, a retomar los ejercicios a modo de obtener el 100%. Cada actividad vamos a luchar por obtener el 100%, ok. Recuérdense que al final ese récord cuenta, porque es necesario que ustedes obtengan entre el 80 al 100%. Y cada actividad, cada actividad tiene un porcentaje. O sea, si la actividad 1, usted, digamos, tuvo, eran 5 y tuvo buenas solo 2, entonces ahí obtiene el, el 40% de, de, de resultados. Entonces yo necesito que si son 5 ejercicios, que los 5 ejercicios los, los tengamos de manera correcta. ¿Ok? 
Ahora estoy revisando la plataforma y pues solo una persona visualicé que sí ya tenía el 100%. Recuérdense que pueden retomar el ejercicio hasta que obtengan el 100%. Ok, let's see, have uh, 14 people. Well, I will repeat that message. Puedes repetir eso luego porque sí me interesa que todos vayan obteniendo los mejores resultados. Uh, I will check the list of attendance. I have 14 people. Welcome to everyone. Well, I didn't say hello to Edgar, Vera Liz, eh, Maribel, Claudia, Oscar, oh. Maria Elba, Mario, good to see you in here. Oscar, Rona, well, Rona was from the very beginning, Belen and Gladys. Okay, I will check the list of attendance. All right, so just to start with everything over here. Um, well, I, I hope that you have a lot of energy tonight because we're going to need it. Today, it's, it was raining a lot over here. Fortunately, the rain is stopped. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going? Jonathan, good to listen to you. Good. Okay, Thank everybody. You. Pay attention, say hello, right? Say hello, say present, so that I can notice that you are over here. Oh, uh, Aidan? Adan? Adan is not over here yet? Okay, Aidan is not here yet. Uh, Belen? Uh, present, present. Okay, Belen is over here, very good. Claudia? Hello, Claudia. Daniel. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Dina. Present teacher. Okay, Edgar. Okay, Edgar is not here yet. Gladys. Present teacher. Right. Jonathan. He just came, right? Present. Okay, Maria Elba. Present teacher. Okay, Mary. Mario Cristobal. Present teacher. Pretty good. Marta Berenice. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Michael. Michael is not here yet. Eh, Noah. Eh, oh, sorry, Noé. Aníbal? Well, Aníbal is not here yet. Norma Xiomara? Present teacher. Good. Oscar Antonio? Present teacher. Excellent. Ronan? Present teacher. Teresa? Present teacher. And finally, we have Vera Liz. All right. Vera Liz? Hello, teacher. Hello, Vera Liz. Good to see you here. Now, coming back, Norma, Noah, or Noe, sorry, eh, Edgar, and Aidan. Aidan, okay, Aidan. I didn't listen to you. No, yes, Aidan. Very good. Now, three people are missing, and I hope they can get into the class later. Okay, anyways, you know, I will check the list of attendance at the end of the class. Let me see. Oh, okay, Aidan is in the chat. All right. Okay, people, welcome. Welcome back. I hope that you are very energetic, very positive about learning English. Okay. I know that you have been thinking a lot about English, right? Sé que he estado pensando bastante en inglés y me están haciendo caso a los consejitos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué expresión? Let me see. Vamos a ver qué expresión se aprendieron ahora. Daniel. Quiero ver qué tan enamorados están del inglés. Daniel. Uh, expression that you learned today. Del día. Uh, se le van a quemar la canilla al inglés y están aprendiendo alemán o francés. ¿Ok? English only. Solo inglés. Solo inglés. Ajá. Expression. Ah, estén buscando ahorita en el Google, por favor. Y se supone que en el día se aprendieron alguna expresión. Let's see, Dani, I will give you some time. Yo le, voy a, le voy a dar tiempo, ¿ok? Berenice, what did you learn today? The expression that you learned today.
Yo sé que han pasado, quiero ver, hasta el momento han pasado y como más de 10 horas pensando. Aprendí <laughs> repitiendo. Ok, Mario, what about you? Teresa. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Okay, very good. Norma. Hi, teacher. Hi. What is the expression you learned today? Ah, uh, ninguna. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Aidan. Get up. Get up. Jonathan. Hey, but maybe you were listening to a song, right? Get up, stand up. Jonathan? Wait. Wait is the word that you learned. Sí, como esperar. O... Okay, wait a minute. All right, very good. Aníbal? Good evening, teacher. So, good evening. That's the one that you learned. Okay. <laughs> or did you learn another <laughs> one? Michael? <laughs> Hi, what did you learn today? The PDF. PDF? Yeah, the PDF. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is a PDF in English, right? Okay, PDF, all right. Uh, Ronan? Happy, happy, feliz. Happy, happy, feliz, feliz. Claudia? Now listen, I know, I know. Well, you know, we're gonna call this. Um, I don't know. I, I will ask every single uh, every the at the beginning of every single class. I will ask you about an expression that you learned in English. Okay, but not only one word, but an expression that you learned in English. Lo primero que van a hacer al, al venir a la clase van a, van a digitar la expresión que se aprendieron en el día y nos la van a explicar. Nos van a decir qué significa. Puede ser cualquier expresión que ustedes, uh, que ustedes consideren importante aprendérsela y mostrársela a los demás en el grupo. Ya vi que no están tan enamorados como yo. Como yo pensaba. Ok. <ríe> ok, now, let's see. Oh, well, we're going to go over, uh, well, I will start with this, okay, I will start with this, because I consider it quite important to let you know about what's happening uh, with, the, with, the, um, with the platform, all right? Now, listen, listen, everybody, I will say this in Spanish because that's very important to me. How many people do I have? I think everybody is in the class now. Yeah, I think everybody's in the class now. Espero que todos ya estén en clase. Ya todos estén conectados. Miren. Uh, acá está ya la sesión que, el, que tuvimos el día de ayer. Uh, perdón, antier. Y la de ayer tiene que estar por acá. Acá están. But, miren, la tarea número uno. Ustedes ya la, ya la desarrollaron, ¿verdad? Eh, lo voy a decir en español porque quiero que, que lo tomen muy en cuenta. Ok, actividad 1, actividad 2. Hasta ahí tenemos. Y ahora pues vamos a trabajar al final de la clase con la actividad 3. Ok, hoy vamos a, miren, vamos a, a trabajar un poco con presente simple, <coughs> pero nos vamos a dedicar también a how much and how many. Pero lo que sí necesito es que si, imagínense, uh, imagínense yo me equivoco acá y mi resultado pues, me sale que, que a lo mejor no, no tuve el 100%. Ok, entonces este, aquí ya me salió esta, que esta la tuve mala, esta la tuve mala. Tres malas, cuatro, uh, solo dos parece que tuve bueno. Entonces que voy, voy a repetir el ejercicio para que me dé, para que me dé uh, la respuesta correcta y obtener el 100%. Ok, es necesario que obtengamos ese 100% en las actividades, ¿ok? Entonces, uh, I take a shower in the morning, my boss sends, my boss sends emails, my co-worker have, um, the secretary usually arrives, 
We never were. Ok, now I, I got all of them in the right way. Ahora sí ya las tengo todas buenas. Entonces lo vuelvo a enviar. A modo que eso quede registrado como el 100%. Porque si yo le doy enviar con, con, con errores, entonces la plataforma va a registrar que de 5 tuve buenas dos. <tose> Ok, o, o, o tres o cuatro, pues yo lo que estoy buscando es que ustedes tengan el 100% y que, se, que aparezca reflejado en la plataforma de esa manera. Ok, es, es muy, muy importante ver esos avances. Entonces, este, si ustedes, porque ahora estuve revisando la plataforma y me di cuenta que solo una persona tuvo el 100%. Quiere decir que la mayoría, pues, hizo el ejercicio, si lo han hecho, todos lo hicieron, y eso está perfecto, pero nos quedamos como con la primera, con la primera, este, el primer ensayo, o sea, hicimos el primer, el, el ejercicio y ya no lo volvimos a hacer. Entonces, cuando ya logremos el 100%, entonces la actividad ya, ya está bien, ¿ok? Ahí la dejamos y nos movemos a la otra actividad. Okay. Si, usted, si usted mira que en sus resultados aparecen esas crucitas que, está, que estuvo mal algo, entonces hay que volverlo a hacer. Okay. ok. All right. So, now let us get down to business. Vamos a trabajar ya en lo que nos compete este día. No sé si hay preguntas con la indicación. Solo... Solo para aclararles, no, lo digo porque si, si avanzamos de esa manera, al final posiblemente los resultados, pues sí sean satisfactorios, pero queremos que, que sean pues excelentes, ¿verdad? Queremos que Claudia, ok, Claudia. Hello. Hola, me escucha. Ya, yeah. listen to you perfectly. Ok, eh, solamente un comentario y tal vez para los compañeros, el día de ayer que hizo los grupos, eh, recuerda, bueno, yo puse en el, en el chat que se cerró la sesión. Ok. Y, y otros dos compañeros también pusieron lo mismo. Ok. Entonces, yo salí de la sesión y hasta que volví a entrar, se re, nos reincorporamos. Le hago este comentario por... Eh, me cayó un mensaje de, de ahí de, de la empresa diciendo que yo no había cumplido todo el horario, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo no sé si, si con la activación que hicimos en WhatsApp y en la plataforma, de alguna u otra forma, el hecho de que cuando usted hace los grupos de trabajo, nos saca de la sesión y perdemos ese tiempo. Ok, sí, eh, eso es más que todo en, en ocasiones cuando hay un clima un poquito malo o hay una mala conexión, este, pero en la, en, cuando, cuando les llaman los compañeros es justamente para ver qué es lo que sucedió. Y cuando usted le dice, bueno, había mala conexión de internet, entonces ahí queda registrado su comentario. ¿verdad? Entonces eso no le, no le afecta porque ya hay una justificación del por qué se desconectó cierto tiempo. Sin embargo, yo considero que um, esperaría si sí, siempre estar trabajando con, con, con grupos porque eso pues es, le da como un poquito eh, la práctica Mate como plus, más individual. Mate. Sí. Entonces, pero esperaría que si hay algún, algún, alguna falla técnica, que tratemos de ver cómo solventamos, o en el caso, pues yo les decía ayer, trabajemos de manera individual, de tal modo que esos 15 minutos, 10 minutos que yo les dé, pues ya cuando regresemos ya haya algo que ustedes hayan, hayan trabajado. Okay. ok. Bueno, sí, de todas formas, a la señorita le dije yo de que yo había puesto en el mensaje eso que, que nos había sacado de sesión y le mandé captura de pantalla de lo que había puesto en el mensaje. Excelente. No se preocupe porque si todo queda, todo, yo sé que cuando alguien, digamos, este, se desconecta por X motivo, pues eh, los compañeros están muy al pendiente de su, de su avance o de por qué alguien no se pudo conectar y todo queda registrado. Todo, si usted sí. hay un comentario que usted estuvo enfermito o enfermita, era? todo queda ahí. Y se le da nivel de comentario, ¿verdad? Pero gracias. Ok, Claudia, no, pero está perfecto. Eh, Berenice. 
Sí, un comentario con la plataforma porque yo el día de ayer después de la clase me quedé revisando si ya estaba activa la segunda tarea para realizarla y me parecía que no había nada cargado aún, entonces me esperé hoy en la mañana y solamente me aparecía un video como de introducción y me igual me decía en la parte de abajo que no había actividad, entonces no, y la verdad me dejé porque tenía el día de trabajo, entonces cuando salí de trabajar de igual manera volví a revisarlo. Y no me parece actividad, entonces ahorita que estaba viendo su pantalla vi que había una, ya había la actividad de la tarea 2, entonces yo no la he realizado porque a mí no me aparecía, no sé si tendrá algún fallo la plataforma o si debería volver a ingresarla. Si sí, usted lo, la está visualizando ahorita, Berenice. Permítame. Sí, porque si no lo puede visualizar todavía, lo comentan por favor en el grupo para que los compañeros le puedan apoyar. ¿Qué me acepta? Sí, dice lo mismo, solamente hay un video que fue de la conferencia, bueno, de la clase del día de ayer y me dice que no hay nada en el foro. Entonces comentémoslo por favor en el grupo para que los compañeros de soporte técnico se les, se les puedan llamar y les puedan ayudar. Ok, ok. Now, yes, now, yes. I think we are going to start with the class. Ok, now, today, you know, simple present was number one, uh, the activity number one. Ok, now, the other one, it was, homework number two was about time expressions, right? So we learn time expressions such as every minute, every day, <clears throat> two times a year, uh, once once a year, twice a year, three times, etc. So we were working with, with these time expressions, right? So today, as I told you before, we're gonna start working with uh, how much and how many, okay? How much and how many, but before going to that, Claudia, I, I don't know if you still have uh, any question. Claudia and Berenice. No, no, no. No, no. solamente. Uh, okay, pretty good. All right. So, well, I will start. I have something on here. I told you to to be like working with. Well, we're gonna go over this. Now, you know what? I have a dictation for you, okay? I have 25 sentences, 25 sentences. And, you know, something I really like about this exercise is that American people are the one that are talking there, okay? So do me the favor too. You can, you can, you can, um, you can type the sentences in, in the word document that you have created or you can write down uh, the information but uh, in in a handwritten form voy a voy a vamos a escribir son 25 oraciones okay lo vamos a tratar de hacer lo más rápido posible queremos trabajar el listening y el writing okay vamos a trabajar dos destrezas son 25 oraciones okay son justamente lo que hemos estado practicando presente simple um, cuando yo le dé check acá ustedes automáticamente lo van lo van observando y van corrigiendo en lo que se equivocaron ok so van a ir escribiendo así como lo escuchan ok si se equivocaron en algo lo corrigen en el momento all right so let me know when you get ready are you ready ready Ready, oh, everybody? Is everybody ready? Ready. Okay, Daniel is ready. Uh, Nival is ready. Claudia, uh, ready. what about the rest? Is everybody ready? Okay, so now pay special attention. We're gonna we're gonna have a, like a, like an example that what, about what we are doing. Vamos a hacer una como como ejemplo. Okay. First, tell me if you listen to it. Today is Jessica's first day of kindergarten. ¿Escucharon bien? ¿Se escucha bien? ¿Sí se oye bien? Yes. Okay, yes. so, vaya. Today is Jessica's first day of kindergarten. 
Ok, ahí hay vocabulario y pronunciación. Hay una oración. Jessica es el nombre de la persona. Ahora, cuando yo le dé check, me va a aparecer acá justamente la oración. Today is Jessica's first day of kid cotton. Ok. Si usted se equivoca, pues no tenga pena. Lo vamos a hacer un poquito. Today más. is Jessica's first day of kindergarten. Give me a second, please. ¿Miran mejor así? ¿Se ve mejor? Ok. Ok, yes. let's see. Yes. Ok. Ok. Entonces usted corrige. Today is Jessica's first day of kindergarten. No. Today is Jessica's first day of the kindergarten. Days. Okay. Now, did you type the sentence? ¿Ya escribieron la oración? Yes. Something yes. that you need to keep in mind is that at the beginning of a sentence, al principio de oración, ya saben, ¿verdad? Capital letter. Nombre propio, capital letter. Al final hay un punto. Okay? Now, second... Okay, ya tuvieron la, 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 la número uno, está bien, ya. Okay, number two. Jessica and her parents walk to school. Jessica and her parents walk to school. Well, I will play it three times. Lo voy a, lo voy a, lo voy a poner tres veces, nada más, y de ahí lo, lo revisamos. Jessica and her parents walk to school. Jessica and her parents walk to school. Number three. Number three, people. Okay, try to do Jessica's it. mom walks with her to her classroom. Jessica's mom walks with her to her classroom. Jessica's mom walks with her to her classroom. Write it down. Jessica's mom walks with her to her classroom. That's number three, people. Let's check it. Well, if it takes too long, we're going to spend like only like 10 minutes more about this, okay? So I don't know if, if with those 10 minutes, we're going to be able to finish with it. Okay, number four. Jessica meets her teacher. Jessica meets her teacher. Jessica meets her teacher. Let's check it. Number five. His name is Mr. Parker. Oops. Mr. Parker. Now you, you got a hint in here. So. His name is Mr. Parker. His name is Mr. Parker. Hey, let's check it. Number six. The school bell rings at 8.45 a.m. The school bell rings at 8.45 a.m. The school bell rings at 8.45 a.m. The school bell. Number seven. 
rings. This is number six, right? Let's check it. The school bell rings at 8.45 a.m. The school bell rings at 8.45 a.m. That's number six, right? Number seven. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish all of them, but if we are not able to, because we are missing like a couple of minutes about it, Jessica hugs and kisses her mom goodbye. Second time. Jessica hugs and kisses her mom goodbye. Jessica hugs and kisses her mom goodbye. It was number seven. Jessica Harrison kisses her mom goodbye. Oh, let me see. Vera I don't think it can be like, yeah, I think slower. Let's see. I think it will be this way. Let's see. Let's start with this. Jessica hugs and kisses her mom goodbye. I think it's better, right? Doesn't sound so good, but... Well... Yeah. Okay. Number, number eight. Let's start with number eight. Jessica's mom says, I love you. Jessica's mom says, I love you. Third time. Jessica's mom says, I love you. Jessica's mom says, I love you. That's it. Jessica's mom says, I love you. Okay, so if we don't finish, because it, it took like, let's see, uh, we're going to spend like five minutes more with this exercise. Okay. Okay, number nine. At 9 a.m., Jessica stands for the national anthem. At 9 a.m., Jessica stands for the national anthem. In the last, in the last time. At 9 a.m., Jessica stands for the national anthem. Number 10. Mr. Parker calls out children's names. Mr. Parker calls out children's names. And the last time. Mr. Parker calls out children's names. Mr. Parker calls out children's names. Number 11. 
we're gonna try to get like 15. No, we're not gonna uh, have the, the, the 25, but 15. Each child yells back, here. Each child yells back, here. Yell back, here. Each child yells back, here. Here. The last time. Each child yells back, here. All right, let's check it. Each child yells back, here. Well, because of the time, well, I wish I wish the link so that you can you can do it by your own. Okay, so but we're gonna try to finish with. Mr. Parker teaches them about letters. 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 Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, no more than 15. Mr. Parker teaches them about letters. That's the sentence. Number 13. Mr. Parker teaches them about numbers. 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 Okay, let us check it. Number 14. Number 14, we're almost done. Get concentrated, please. At 10.15 a.m., the students have recess. At 10.15 a.m., the students have recess. At 10.15 a.m., the students have recess. All right. Let's check it. 10.15 a.m. The students have recess. And the last one, people, you know, to finish it later, if you wish, right? I wish a link, okay, in what in the WhatsApp group, and also I will do it over here in the chat. And the last one, this is gonna be the recess last one. is fun. Recess is fun. Recess is fun. Recess is fun. Okay, hopefully you have done a great job. Uh, uh, anyways, if you want to have some review about this exercise, I will share this link so that you can finish it right later on. It's a really good page, right? I, I, I found it out trying to get something new for you. Okay? So I really love this because you can listen to Recess it. Recess is fun. And you can check about what the person said. And also you can 
Well, for me, I think it's better if you do it like normally, right? Recess is fun. So that you get can get accustomed to to the the pronunciation of those people. All right. So we stop sharing. Okay. How how was the activity? I hope that you have taken advantage of it. Okay. We were working now with our uh, writing, and also we were working with our listening. I will share it now. I will share the link now in the WhatsApp group. I think it's quite important for you to keep uh, working, uh, looking for some exercises in the web, um, extra information, more vocabulary, uh, more exercises that you can get over here in the web. Now, that's why I really love to teach um, English, this, English this way because you know, we have a lot of sources in internet. No, there you are the link in the WhatsApp group also. Okay, now. Yesterday, give me a second. Yesterday we were working this with this exercise, right? And uh, well, I won't play the the track again because you know we we learned about some vocabulary, okay, like time expressions, uh, different verbs, and in the dictation practice you also will encounter a lot of vocabulary there, especially about verbs, which is quite important for you to start learning, as I told you yesterday, right? So this is this is what we learned yesterday. So as you could notice, uh, there are some words that are a uh, ball and in a different in a different um, color, uh, like irregular, like sunish, like a night owl, and um, I think there was another one, uh, an early pearls. I don't know if I if it was over there. Okay, and I told you right to work in the quiz and the vocabulary and in the quiz now. I will check on, I will check the homework only. Solo voy a revisar la tarea. Okay. Y ya luego, pues ya nos vamos con, ya vamos a ir introduciendo un poquito de el tema que nos compete esta noche. Esto hasta donde estamos ahorita viene siendo pues repaso y en, eh, incrementar vocabulario. Now, with the vocabulary that I have here as about uh, seven ish. Okay. No, that the first one is irregular, right? Listen to it, please. And as I told you at the beginning of the course, it's quite important for you to uh, close your microphone, but at home you should uh, you should um, repeat every single vocabulary we got we get over here. Listen to it, please. Irregular. So irregular. 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 What's irregular? My you... routine is a little irregular. No expression. When My... something is irregular, it's noticeably different. Notice the following. One, his behavior is a little irregular. Two, he had an irregular heartbeat. All right, so now you got the meaning of the word irregular, right? So in this in this page also you encounter exercises that are quite good. You get the script, you get the vocabulary, and also you get a quiz. Okay, so my routines are a little irregular. Now, in the second one, since I know that you already study about this. What, how do you pronounce this word, people? Pronunciation. Sevenish. All right, what's, what's the meaning of it? I don't know. <laughs> no idea, okay, so let us see it then. So listen. Sevenish. Seven-ish. I get home about seven-ish. Seven-ish. Here the term seven-ish means around seven. Seven. What does it mean? Around? In los setenta años. 
No, but uh, since so we are talking about a time. Alrededor de las siete. Exactly, siete. exactly. So that's around seven, right? Spanish. Okay, listen. Spanish could be between 6.45 and 7.15. Okay. To make an estimation, just add ish to the I end of the ish. number. Notice the following. One. We'll meet around four-ish. Two. We should finish around three-ish. All right. So what did we learn about this? So you see, it's quite important, right? Ayer estuvimos viendo vocabulario y miren. What does it mean seven-ish? Around seven, right? But if we say uh, around four, around three, so we say four-ish, around four-ish, around three-ish, around uh, uh, three-ish, four-ish, right? Etc. Seven-ish, eight-ish, and so on. Now, let me see somebody is okay. Aidan and Belen. First Aidan, then Belen. Hello, teacher. Eh, solamente a los salvadoreños. Eh, seven ish eh, alrededor de las siete, como no decir una hora específica. Y a cualquier hora, three. O, sí. Bueno, en este caso, three o four ish. No sé cómo se. Yeah, four ish, three ish, seven ish. Sí. Pero sí viene significando alrededor. No yeah, una... exactly. Exacto. Exactly. Ah, ok. Gracias. And... I think there was another yeah. person. Sí. Belén. Uh, the time expression. Yeah, it's a time expression, exactly. It's a time expression, right? So the first one, remember, irregular. Second one, seven-ish. Third one, not all, oh, yeah, over here, I, I, I remember what's the, that vocabulary, right? Night owl and early bird. You remember, oh. yesterday we, we studied that, right? So we're gonna go over it a little bit fast because, you know, I'm just checking the homework, right? Será tarea para que lo estudiaran, veamos. Night owl. Night owl. Early bird. Early bird. Early bird. Early bird. I'm a kind of night owl. A night owl is a person who likes to stay up very late. An early bird is someone who likes to get up very early. Notice the following. 1. My wife's a night owl and I'm an early bird. 2. I was a night owl in college, but now I'm an early bird. Now that's quite quite clearly, right? Night owl, a person who likes or who loves to get. Uh, no, this is a this is an early bird, right? This is a person who likes to stay to stay up very late. What is that? Muy tarde, estar despierto muy tarde. Yeah, but how, how do we call those people? ¿Cómo le llamamos a las personas que les gusta acostarse tarde? Night owl. Night owl. And what about the opposite? How do we call people who like to get up early? Early birth. Early birth, right? So it's an early birth. Right, so then we have two examples. My wife is a night owl and I am an early bird. I was a night owl in college, but uh, now I am an early bird. And the last one, I think, yeah, no, we have nostalgic. Now, like a zombie. So where is that? Like a zombie. Like a zombie. In the morning, I'm like a zombie. A zombie is a dead person that can move. It's from horror movies. If you act like a zombie, that means you have no energy and are very sleepy or not awake. Notice the following. One, I'm a zombie until I get my first cup of coffee. Two, I was a zombie after studying 12 hours straight. All right. So what's the meaning of like a zombie? 
Like a zombie refers to a person who doesn't have any energy, right? Or a person that's very sleepy or not awakened. Okay, so I hope that you are, you're not like a zombie now because I want you to be awakened. And the last Whoa. one. Okay. And the last one, nostalgic. You feel nostalgic for childhood. When you feel nostalgic for something, that means you miss the thing the time you enjoyed it. We're often nostalgic for childhood or good times in life. Notice the following. One, the TV show may be nostalgic for my hometown. Two, my father is nostalgic for life before all this new technology. All right. Pretty good, nostalgia, right? So it's very similar to the, to the word in Spanish, right? Now, there's a vocabulary quiz. So what is the word that you got over here? We're going to do it, uh, uh, I mean, uh, orally. Uh, you need to complete by using the vocabulary, like irregular, uh, sixes, sixish, owl, nostalgic, or zombie. Now, tell me about the first one. After working 10 hours, I feel like a... Zombie. Like a zombie, right? Come to my house around for dinner. Come to my house around six. 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 All right. He has a work schedule. Work schedule. Irregular. 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 Irregular work schedule. Number four. I used to be a, but now I go to bed early. A night owl, right? A night owl. And the last one. I am for my childhood. Nostalgic. Nostalgic. Nostalgic, right? Nostalgic. Pretty good. Now we're going to stop over here. We're going to check the answers in, in order to see what's going on. Let me see. Uh, five. five. Okay, the five of them. We got all of them. Pretty good. So we did it, people. Now, I will stop sharing over here in, uh, well, uh, let's see let's see about, about about the dictation practice let's talk a little about the dictation practice how was the dictation practice was very you have three options dictation practice easy difficult or very difficult how was the dictation practice you have three options easy difficult very difficult Jonathan? Easy. Oh, very good, Berlin. That was very easy. After <laughs> you have four options. Very easy, easy, difficult, very difficult. You have four options. How was the dictation practice, people? Berlin says easy, right? What easy. About you? Easy, very easy. Very good. Jonathan, how was it? Mm, very easy. <laughs> very easy. Wow, very good. Berenice, how was dictation practice? That's very easy. Very easy. Well, I will look for uh, exercises that are a little bit harder. Okay, yeah. now, uh, Daniel, how was the dictation practice? I'll go difficult. <laughs> okay, very good. A little bit difficult. Little Not that difficult, difficult, but a little bit difficult. What about you, Norma? How was the dictation practice? Difficult. Okay, was difficult. Michael? Very difficult. Oh, for you, was difficult. Mario? Uh, difficult. 
difficult. Okay, very good. So what what am I asking you about it? I guess because I'm you know I'm trying to get like like um the the, 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 the most suitable suitable exercises for the group. Porque les pregunto, si ustedes se fijan, algunos dicen, eso es fácil, muy fácil, otros dicen un poquito difícil, y otros dicen muy difícil. Entonces quiere decir que estamos justo en eh, lo que estamos en, en los ejercicios que, que, que necesitamos, porque para algunos puede ser fácil, para algunos puede ser un poco difícil y para otros puede ser muy difícil. Quiere decir que justo estamos eh, al centro, ¿verdad? No estoy poniendo nada que sea demasiado difícil y tampoco nada que sea demasiado fácil tampoco, ¿verdad? O sea, es una práctica que creo que sí nos va a funcionar. Perfecto. Now, let's go over, let's go over to the topic that we are uh, working tonight. Ah, well, uh, before, before, before continuing, antes de continuar, quiero que se recuerden de esto, por favor. Ok. ¿Quién se recuerda de esto? No sé, creo que hay alguien que, que, que se le olvida cerrar el micrófono. Ayúdennos con eso, por favor. Gracias. Ok. Si ustedes se fijan, el viernes tenemos nuestra primera práctica. ¿De qué va a ser la práctica? De presente simple. Ok. Uh, Ok, simple present review and practice. Recuérdense que ustedes tienen uh, la tarea de presentar alguna actividad que a ustedes mejor les, 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 les plazca. Ok, y que ustedes sepan que manejan muy bien esa actividad y nos la presenten en el grupo. Ok, todos deben de estar listos con eso. Presente simple el día viernes, ok. Recordatorio. Ahí está en amarillo cuando, no, cuando vamos a hacer este tipo de práctica, ¿ok? Solo como recordatorio. Now. Let's get down to business and see what's coming tonight. Well, I will go directly to what I have here because Well, it's nine o'clock and we need to we need to, to work and finish with this. Oh wait a minute, I don't find it out. So we're here. Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna work a little bit fast with this. Okay. And then yeah. Okay, now now we have this. People. Okay. We continue with simple present. Okay. Sorry, but it's quite necessary. And you know that in simple present, we also have double H question words. Uh, okay. And we also have uh, questions, yes or no questions, and double H uh, questions. Uh, over here, I have a conversation uh, between Sonia and Matt. Okay. So Sonia says, What does Dominic do? What does he do? Open question, right? So, well, she's a secretary. Dominique is a lady, right? Well, she's a secretary. So what does a secretary do? Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly, exactly. Well, uh, uh, to your point, well, she types, reports, sends emails every day. She is a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Now, how, how many type of questions do we have in the conversation, people? ¿Cuántos tipos de preguntas tenemos en la conversación? This is the first one. And uh, where's the other one? Ah, this is the other one, right? Does she arrive early? Now, in this case, she's yeah. secretary. 
Yeah, she's a sec. Uh, let me see. She's a secretary. Oh, uh, what? Ah, over here I have another question. Right? What does she do every day exactly? Okay. So as you can see, there are two type of questions. Okay. The first one is an open question or a double H question, right? And in the second one, this is a review, right? This is a yes, no question. You have two options over here. You say yes or you say no, right? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. But when you are asked about what somebody does every day exactly, so you, you see you can provide a lot of information about that question, okay? So just for you to remember, remember that we started this when we were in basic one, okay? So uh, let us have some review about, about simple present, okay? Third person singular, we started that yesterday. Now, when we say she type or she types people? She types reports. She types. Pretty Five. good. She types reports. We say, do she or we say, does she arrive? Do does she arrive? Yeah. Some people say do, some more say does. Which is the correct one? Does. Okay, that no. she right. Remember does. that we use does with he, with she, and with it. Does. Okay, does. He, the she, does it in a question, right? Does she walk? Does she work? Does she watch? Does she watch? Does she etc. Right? So third person. This is a quick practice, people. I know that you are gonna do it by your own at the end. Okay. I know that you are working with this. Sé que también trabajan el PDF. Okay, porque es para eso para sacarle ventaja al PDF. Okay, and we have some more information over here about he, he checks, he goes, he likes. Okay, you can say the pronoun. Let me see. Okay, Mary and Mario, please do me the favor to close microphone. Maria and Mario, please. Thank you. Mario, do me the favor to... Okay, pretty good. No, yes, yeah, I think it's better. Now, remember, he, she, or it, the person, right? Checks, goes, likes. Okay, third person plural, right? Now, third person plural, check. My coworkers, plural, go, check, go, like. The employees, plural, check, go, and like. Okay, you need to, you need to be aware about it. Remember that when it's plural, they, you are saying they, right? My coworkers, they, okay? The employees, they, okay? Say they. Now, when you have uh, uh, questions, yes, no questions with simple present, then uh, you have you have to type or to write down the auxiliary do or does at the beginning, right? So as I told you before, uh, you have to use does with he, she, or it. It doesn't appear over here, but you need to use it with, with it. And the verb, as you can see, remains in the base form. Does he check reports? Do we, do you, or do they check reports? So if I ask you, hey, does she does, does he check reports? What's the possible answer? Yes, I do. But but if I say he, does he check reports? Yes, he does. does. Yes, he does. Pretty good. Does she check uh, reports? Yes, she, yes. Does. she does. Yes, she does. So if I want, if if I if if you were in church of answering in the native form. Then tell me, uh, does he check reports? Negative. And no, she doesn't. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. Perfect. Now, what no. about this? Uh, do you do you check reports? 
No, we don't. So you say no. So if I ask you directly, do you check reports? And you say no, I don't. Or if you say in a group, no, I don't. Yes, no, sir. No, we don't, right? But if you say yes, uh huh. Do you check reports? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, we do. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, yes, they do or no, they don't. All right? It's like that, right? So this is about what we started yesterday. That's, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go over it quickly. Because to, tonight, yeah, time is running in the right way. Tonight, we're going to study about, we're going to go directly to how much, how many, how much, how many, and then, well, you're gonna you're gonna work on something over here. Now, help me, please, people. Help me to complete this. You know what to do, right? So we're using yeah. simple present tense, and we have mm -hmm. different different verbs over here: call, have, check, wake up, work, go. And go seems to be used like three times. I don't know. We're going to check it. Now, from Monday to Friday, Dominique. Wait up. Wake up. Wake up. Uh -huh. I'm evaluating, people. Now, once again, from Monday to Friday, mm. Dominique. Wake up. Wake up. Go. Wait, stop. Okay, so you need you need to make emphasis in the in the e sound, wakes, right? Wakes yes. up. Wakes, wakes up. up. Oh. Wakes up. Wakes up at five a.m. She. Uh -huh, what does she, what's going on with she? She to work, and when she gets there. She goes to she work. Goes. All right, oh. now it's getting better. She goes, she goes. to work, and when she gets there, aha, uh -huh. what happens Check. when she gets there? Check. She checks. She checks. She checks. Right. She checks. She checks. Call. Calls. Yeah, she, she checks. She checks her mail and... Her email and 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 calls calls oh, calls and calls at, at the all client. the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia um go 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 with go. Dominic go work. 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 work with Dominique. Yes, we said work. work with Dominique. Um, they Dominique. They go to have lunch together. They have. They, have. they, have. they, have. they have. They have it's because an obligation, right? They go to have lunch together. Okay, so it may be also right. So give me they a second. Go. Give me a second. Go to have lunch. They go, it may be they have or they go, but you see if it is an obligation or uh, something that I forgot to, to explain about it, they go they go she, to have mm, she had lunch together at 4 p.m. Now, yes, right? Dominique. At 4 p.m., Dominique. They go home. Goes. No, but it's only goes. Dominique, right? Goes. 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 Goes home. Goes home. All right, very good. Now. I need someone to read it, please. Can somebody read it? I need somebody to read it. A volunteer? I need a volunteer to read it. <laughs> Aníbal, thank you. 
from Monday to Friday, Dominic Wilcox at five. Mm, okay. eight. Sería todo, teacher. Yeah, please. I am she goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls uh, all the clients. In her daily life, Lisa, Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. All right, pretty good. Now, something that I highly recommend you. Okay, let me see. I need to listen to somebody else. Another volunteer, please. Thank you, uh, Belen. From Monday to Friday, the ministers wake up at uh, 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her emails and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia yeah, work while with Dominican. Uh, they go to have lunch together. At 4 p.m., the minute it does come. All right. Uh, and a last participant, a last volunteer. Okay, so let me see. Beralis. Uh, who, who said Beralis, uh, Berenice, and I, I hear the boy also. Okay. From Monday to Friday. Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her emails and calls at the clients in their in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. All right. Uh, I think Berenice, right? Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, from Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her mails and calls all the clients. In her daily list, Liz and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. All right, that was quite good. And I think there was another participant who wants to read it, who wanted to read it. Escuché que alguien más quería leerlo. Okay, no se queden con esa gana de, de participar. No, me equivoqué. Uh, Aníbal? Okay. No, uh, Michael. Okay, Michael. Michael, do me the favor to open your microphone, please. We don't listen to you. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wake up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets here, gets there, she checks her Gmail, calls all clients in her daily. Liz and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. All right, so why did I ask you to, uh, to read the information? Listen, it's quite important for you to pay special attention to pronunciation of, of vocabulary, okay? So we're gonna do the following. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Well, Listen to me, uh, there is a word that's the, the... So if you look for this word, si, si ustedes buscan esa palabra, se van a dar cuenta que sí existe y que significa algo diferente. A uh, goes, 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 okay? So, me gusta hacer un poquito de comparación con algunas palabras porque suenan parecido, pero no significan lo mismo. ¿Ok? Entonces, es necesario que siempre le prestemos especial atención a las palabras. Cómo se pronuncian, 
¿ok? Como se escriben para no eh, equivocarnos y que nuestro inglés suene un poquito mejor. Recuérdense que nosotros no somos nativos. Yo no soy nativo de Estados Unidos. Entonces, eso quiere decir que hay que practicar más y más, una y otra vez, una y otra vez, a modo de y que nuestro, y nuestro inglés vaya pareciéndose al inglés que todo norteamericano nacido en Estados Unidos habla. Okay. Now, from Monday to Friday, Dominique wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work, and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily, daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominique. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m., Dominique goes home. Okay, so let's spend. Lo leí en, lo leímos en, en menos de un minuto. Si, no, si mal no, no estoy haciendo las cuentas de manera equivocada. Entonces, ahorita tomémonos dos minutos para que coloquen ese audio de, lo, de, 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 de esta lectura que, que en el grupo de WhatsApp. Como que están mandándome un mensaje ahí en el WhatsApp. Léanlo. Y lo dejan ahí en WhatsApp y para que todos, pues, pues veamos cómo estamos leyendo, cómo estamos pronunciando, ¿ok? Ahorita voy a empezar a ver. Esa lectura en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, dos minutos, chicos y chicas. Okay, people. Okay, now listen. I, I'm I, I'm this. I, I was just listening to some of you. Okay, and uh, well, you can check your pronunciation in the WhatsApp group also, right? So, 
I will delete this part and we're going to try to, to advance. Now, yes, people. Now, well, as you can see over here, you need to complete this information, but you can do it at home, right? Okay, so now what I what I actually uh, would really like to, to go over is about how much and how many. Okay, but, you know, this is another conversation and I won't go with the conversation now. I will, I will try to uh, present the information that I've gotten about how many and how much. Hey, uh, cuando ustedes puedan este, escuchar eh, cómo los compañeros se están desarrollando con los audios, con las tareas que nosotros vamos designando y algunas veces comparten en, en el grupo de WhatsApp, pues háganlo, ¿verdad? Y porque eso ayuda también. O si ustedes pues, pueden escuchar su propia voz y ay aquí me equivoqué y quedó un poqu poquito, pues no lo pronuncié bien o pues me salió súper este audio. Entonces este, eso, eso nos ayuda a, a ir también, este, ir marcando nuestros avances. Now. Give me a second. Well, oh, no, let me see another thought. This one, I'm sorry. No, yeah. Okay, people. Now, look at what we have here. Now, we're going to go over the topic that we're in church of developing tonight. Much or many? How much? How many? Okay. We can create questions with these two words, right? Much or many? How much? How many? But how come? Well, uh, what do you see over there? You have some vocabulary over there, right? How do you pronounce this word? Flower. Flower. How many flowers do you see over there? One. 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 How do you pronounce flower. this word? Sand. 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 How many sands do you see there? So how many or how much? Much. Ah, okay. Much. How do you pronounce much. this word? Really. really. Look, look in the look in, in, in Google, please. Look pronunciation and see if it is Reno or Rhino. Rhino. Now look, look in Google, please. And then you tell Rhino. me. <sighs> pronunciation? Water. Right now. Right now. You got rhino. Rhino, oh. yes. All right, so it's not rhino, right? So how do you pronounce this word? Boat. 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 this? Water. Boat. Water. This one? Rain. Rain. This one? Sugar. 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 All right, now, question. Can we count uh, flowers? How many? Many. many. Okay, yeah, can we count? Can we count? Can we count these things? Can we count flowers? Yes or no? You say, yeah. yes, we can or no, we can't. Now, can we count flowers? Yes. Can yes. we count? Can we count sand? No. 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 Can we count? No. Can we can we count uh, children? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can we can. Can we count rhinos? Yes. 
Can we count yes. food? Yes. Water? No. no. Grape? Yes. yes. Sugar? No. 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 Okay, now, look at what we have here. Flowers, plural. Now, tell me if it is, if it is correct or incorrect. Flowers, correct or no? Correct. It's correct. No. Say, no, no, it's not correct. It is not correct. La forma mm -hmm. plural de flower, flowers, ¿está correcto o no? Yes. Yes, yes. right. Yes. What about this one? Since? Yes. Uh -huh. Can we count it? ¿Podemos contar la arena? No. No, no entonces no podemos pluralizar. Okay. Now, rhinos? Yes. Okay. Yes. Boats? Yes. yes. Waters? No. no. Grapes? Yes. Sugars? Yes. No. no. No, right. So, what am I explaining about it? It's because it, 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 it refers to how much or how many. Okay? How much and how many. But how come? For example, if you can count it, what is the one that you will use if you can count it? Too many flowers. Many, right? Many flowers. Many is the one that you will use. If you can many. count it, then you use many. Too many flowers. Flowers. Flowers are countables. That's why we use many. Second one. If you can count it, use many. I ate. So, so many, many. So, so many, many grapes. 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 grapes, but I feel I, I felt sick. If you can count it, how many bowls can how many? Use many, right? Now, yeah. if you can count it, use you. You finish the expression, please. Termine usted la oración. If you can count it, yes, yes so many. Yes, many. Example, many. how many boats many can you boats? see? Boats, many. many. If you can't count it, you use mouth. Much. 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 Sand. Mm -hmm. Example, how much? How much sand do you need? Do you need? Sand do you need? If you can't count it, you use much. Much. Example. There is so much water. There is too much. Clean it out. There is too much water on the floor. On the floor. Clean, it. Clean it up. Know. Much or many? Also, now, yeah. for countable use things, countable things, use many. Use, use many. many. For non countable things, use much. use much. Simple like that, right? Many and much. How much and how many? Well, now, now that we got it, then you will tell me the, the sentence, right? By using many or much. Number one. Many. How many orange how many? juice? I know. How much? How much? How much? How much? What are we how talking about? Orange? We are talking about oranges much. or we are talking about juice? Much. Yeah. Oh, is, is orange? Or, now, listen, listen to me. Or, is orange countable or not non-countable? Contable. It's contable, contable, right? But we're not talking about oranges. No estamos oranges. hablando de naranjas. Estamos hablando de el jugo de naranjas. Entonces, ¿podemos contar el jugo? No. No, no tal vez los vasos no. llenos de jugo, pero no el jugo en sí, ¿verdad? So, what is the answer? How much? How much? How much, How much, orange. How much orange juice, orange juice, do, you orange juice want? do you want? Number two, cookies. Do you eat? How many? How many cookies? How many cookies do you have? How many cookies do you eat? People. Many. Many. Now, what is the same thing? There are too much people? Many. Much people. There are too too many or too much. Too many. 
Ma, many. Much people. Much? No, but Much listen, ¿podemos like... contar a las personas? What? How many do you see here? Yes. Hasta allá está la cola, yes. ¿cuántas tenemos aquí? What? Hagamos la cuenta, hagamos la cuenta. Vamos a ver si pueden los números. Bueno, empecemos a contar. Numbers in English. Okay, pretty good. Now you remember about numbers. No, they. Hay pero por ahí anda 12, 14. Okay, now there are two many people. Many, right? Para que no se pueden contar son muchos, pero sí se pueden contar. There are two many people in line. Uh, what about this? Salt. So, uh, so much or many? Much. So much. 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 So, much. Salt. He put so much salt in, in the soup that it tasted horrible. Horrible. <laughs> Too salty, right? Much. How oh, much salt in the soup? Sí. Ejemplo, se me olvidó borrarlo porque no quería que pensaran eso, pero the teacher gave us the teacher gave us um, much, much, much or many much, much. much, much. much. solo es un ejemplo no, eso no es cierto eso no es cierto hey, humber, much humber, much humber all right? Much humber. Now, I saw many. 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 Two cans in the tree. Now, let's work on this part, please. Let's work in this part. Now I hear you, you're gonna you're gonna type. Lo van ir lo van ir digitando o lo van ir escribiendo. Okay. Solo son ocho oraciones. Number one. Vayan, vayan digitándolo en el chat. Alguien que lo vaya digitando. Y de ahí nada más lo chequeamos. Okay, now I will give you like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will give you like seven minutes for you to for you to do it. Okay, seven minutes, siete minutos para que lo hagan. Okay, type it, please. Digit, digítenlo o escríbanlo porque les voy a pedir a algunos que esta noche que, me, que nos presenten lo que han, lo que han trabajado. En el documento de, de, de Word. Ok.
Okay, two minutes more, two minutes for you to finish. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Are you done? Okay. Are you done? Do you finish? Mm. Okay, I think you already finished, right? That was very simple, right? It's very, very easy. How much, how many? Now, well, I hope that you, you didn't have any problem with it. Now, tell me about number one, Berenice, please. Yeah, how many homework do you have? How many? Now, one question. Homework is countable or non-countable? No countable. So then? Countable. How so much? Much. much. Yeah, remember, with homework, you're going to use much. How much okay. homework do you have? How much? Okay. Now, you know, homework, homework is made up of activities, right? La tarea se compone de actividades. Las actividades sí se pueden contar, pero la tarea no, ¿ok? Activities. One activity, two activities, but not homework. How much homework do you have? Number two, uh, Daniel. How much sugar do you want in your tea? All right. How much sugar do you want in your tea? Very good. Uh, Mario? Number three. 
How many apples are there? Right. How many apples? Is this correct or it's incorrect? Está correcto or está incorrecto? Incorrect. Correct. Ah, okay. So how many, how many right? Money. This is how many. It's a mistake. But right here we need to use many. Simple, right? Many. Now, what about the next one? Uh, Claudia? How many or how much? How many? Is it correct? How many teacher do you see? Yeah, how many it, it is how many, right? So it's, a, it's a mistake going here. How many? I know what happened. Ya sé que es lo que sucedió. Cuando la estaba editando, eh, por el color, ah, me equivoqué. Y no me percaté. No. Yeah, but this is anyways, this is many, right? Now, what about milk, people? Uh, let me see. Uh, Maria? How much? How much? Now, yes, right? How much meal do you want? Number six. Anybody else who wants to help me with the number six? How Let's... many desks do you see? How many desks? Okay, problems. Hey, the teacher was not awakened. <laughs> Hey, the teacher was a zombie when, when he was working out here. <laughs> he, he was like a zombie. El teacher estaba como en estado zombie, okay? So how many, right? How many desks? Do you see? Okay. What about number seven? How many? How many books? 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 How many How many How many books? 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 How many How How much work? Este es How much work? How much work? What wow. do you have? Now, yes, right? Very good. <laughs> now, you got a 10. Se sacaron 10 y yo me saqué como un mi 3 por aquí, un mi 4. <laughs> me equivoqué mucho. Me equivoqué mucho. All right? It's so pretty good. Now, was it difficult? Easy? How much? How many? Easy teacher. Very easy, right? Easy, so easy, easy teacher, easy. Easy, very easy, right? So, well, you know, we're <coughs> gonna try to make some review. Vamos a tratar de hacer algún repaso. Como les dije, quiero que por favor algunos de ustedes me compartan lo que tienen en el documento Word. Y pues nos hagan así una, una pequeña explicación de qué es lo que han aprendido, por lo menos en En esos, en esos par de días que hemos estado juntos, ¿ok? Uh, bueno, voy a pedir voluntarios. Si no hay voluntarios, yo voy a decir quiénes nos lo van a presentar, ¿ok? Volunteers. At one. Volunteers. At two. Volunteers at three. Es que demasiados. Parece que, esa, que la caricatura de, 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 de la fila se parece a, 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 a ustedes, que todos quieren participar. ¿Qué sucede? ¿Elijo yo a alguien? Let me see. Uh, people uh, Maribel hello Maribel are you there hello 
Hello, hello. Could you please do me the favor to share what you have been working with? Uh, you, uh, you've been working lately? Está, está llevando, digamos, este apunte en documento Word o en cuaderno? Um, por el momento no lo he hecho. Ni Word ni cuaderno. Ah, ok. Pero, so, uh -huh. pero um, estoy tomando algunos apuntes, no todo de lo que usted está diciendo. Yeah, okay, that's that's fantastic because uh, you know, no les estoy solicitando que escriban todos, no, sino es como wow, esto sí, esto, que esto que que es que sucedió en la clase, pues me lo me lo echo a la bolsa, ¿verdad? Esta frase, este vocabulario, estos me lo llevo sí, que sí. O sea, eso es lo que yo necesito, que que okay, vayan registrando aquellas cosas que que ustedes están seguros que nunca, nunca se les va a olvidar, ¿ok? Eh, por, por eso es, necesito que pues estemos como recordando, si necesitan ver este, eh, la clase anterior, puedes tomar ap apuntes, volverlo a ver, etcétera, en algún momento que, que puedan, ¿verdad? Porque yo sé que en el día todos pues están muy ocupados, pero... Por eso este, yo les pido que en las en la dos horas que tenemos acá, que ustedes vayan tomando apuntes, aunque sea de alguna oración, que, wow, esa palabra, por lo menos ahora, ¿qué palabras aprend han aprendido? Puede ser que sea como un recordatorio, por ejemplo, esto de how much, how many, lo hemos venido aprendiendo de ella desde antes, entonces todo lo que a veces cuando no lo ponemos en práctica se va olvidando, entonces Exacto. si lo estamos como poniendo en práctica siempre estamos con eso y en el momento preciso en el que usted pide algo uno vuelve a aquel entonces, entonces como un recordatorio exactly, exactly Claudia ok Now, uh, tell me something that you learned, that, that you have learned so far. Vocabulario, por ejemplo, ¿qué hemos aprendido vocabulario? ¿Quién tomó apuntes de algunas palabras, verbos, expresiones que hemos usado esta noche? Sevenish, Horish, Terish. Excellent, Michael. Okay, what else? De, de, lo, de la, so, del dictado, todos los verbos ya ustedes tenían conocimiento de cómo se escribía, cómo se pronunciaba. No. No, right. So, eh, eh, eso, eso justamente es lo que yo necesito. Si hay un verbo o una palabra que yo no sabía. La tomo aparte, quizás voy haciendo un glosario, trabajando un glosario, de tal modo que, que como que me voy a auto, auto um, ¿cómo les digo? Como asignándome tareas a mí mismo. O sea, si yo visualicé siete palabras hoy en la noche, esas siete palabras me las aprendo, por decirles un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ahí depende como las estrategias que ustedes tomen o las... Um, o la manera que ustedes consideran más conveniente para estudiar. Por eso lo he dejado libre, así, ¿verdad? Que ustedes tomen apuntes de lo que ustedes consideren es lo más significativo de cada sesión. Ok, so let us do something, people. Vamos a hacer algo. Give me a second, please. Necesito revisar o, o chequear la, la asistencia por última vez. Pero antes de eso, quiero que se vayan a la página del, de la, del PDF, de la guía de PDF, a la página número 14. Ahí van a encontrar un pequeño ejercicio 
que necesito que lo completen. Después de eso, se van por favor al ejercicio que la plataforma nos presenta y con eso vamos a dar por terminado la sesión de esta noche. ¿Ok? Let me see. List attendance. Adán. Present teacher. Ok, Belén. Present teacher. All right, Cla uh, Claudia. Present teacher. Uh, Daniel. Present teacher. Excellent. Dina. Here. All right. Edgar. Edgar Edison. Gladys. Excuse me, Pestish. Pitch number, give me a second, please. This is number, number 14. Pitch number 14. Page 14. Give me a second. I wish I, I think it's better, right? Okay, this is a page, people, 14. And this is the exercise. You will see uh, a conversation. You read the conversation. If you see new vocabulary, you know what to do. Okay, you see the examples are there about how many and how much. Okay, but in context, in a, in a, in a conversation, right? Then you have a very, very short exercise. Oh, well, two exercises over, over here. And that's it, right? When you finish this, then you go to the platform, please. Okay, give me a second. Okay, Jonathan. Present. All right. Maria Elba. Present. Okay. Mario Cristobal. Present teacher. Great. Marta Berenice. Hi, teacher. Hi. Miguel Angel. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, Aníbal. Present teacher. Great. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Oscar Antonio, fantastic. Present teacher. Great. Ronan. Present teacher. Pretty good. Teresa. Present teacher. Great. And finally, I have Vera Liz. Present. Wow, you are, you are awesome. Wow, son grandiosos. Llevamos un, un récord excelente en asistencia. Excelente. Pretty good. Congratulations. We are hungry to learn. <laughs> and you are eager to learn. Eager to learn. All right. Hey, guys, listen. Chicos, ya les compartí el enlace del dictado, ¿verdad? Por ahí en esa página, en esa página, de igual manera se los voy a compartir. En caso alguien pues haya entrado un poquito tarde. Esa página está perfecta para que ustedes escuchen una y otra vez, una y otra vez los audios. Ahí aparecen personas nativas eh, describiendo algo o contando alguna historia, qué sé yo, hay muchos ejercicios ahí. Eso lo pueden utilizar para, para trabajar el listening, ¿ok? Cuando ustedes lo consideren pertinente. De hecho, necesito que... Ahora escribimos 15 oraciones, necesito que completemos las 25, ¿ok? 
las 25 oraciones de ese ejercicio. Uh, let me see. Well, if you finish with the activities in the in the PDF guide, now you know that we are working with, or we were working with how uh, many and how much, right? So the first activity, second activity, and now uh, the third activity, right? Okay. Now you have the exercise there. For example, well, I'm not gonna solve it. I'm not gonna solve it, but you will tell me, uh, countable or non-countable? Countable. 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 Uh-huh. Countable or non-countable? Uncountable. Non-countable. Non-countable. Countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Countable or non-countable? Contable. Contable. Contable or non-contable? Contable. Non-contable. Some people say contable, some others say non-contable. So, what is the correct answer over here? Now, you can count, you can count a uh, coin. How much? How money? Yeah. How much money? Uh, how much? Dollars, coins, etc. But you cannot count money itself. So, podemos decir un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros, no. Decimos un dólar, dos dólares, tres dólares, etc. Right? So, well, do me the favor to complete this exercise. Okay. Do me the favor to complete this exercise. Let us, let us try to work on it as a group. Okay. So that... How much? How many? Now, what's coming tomorrow, people? Tomorrow, this is homework number three. Now, let me see. Okay, how much and how many? The topic for tomorrow will be about simple present negative statements. Okay. And later, now, as you can see right there, para el día viernes, ¿cuál sería nuestro tema? Simple present review and practice. Okay, so what's coming on Friday? ¿Qué es lo que se nos viene para el día viernes? ¿Quién se recuerda? El challenge. Challenge? Ah, who, who, who's talking about? Ah, the challenge is about... Yeah, no, but in this case, you know... Vamos a tener una práctica, ¿se recuerdan? De presente simple. Todo lo que sea relacionado al presente simple, vamos a tener nuestra práctica. Okay, yo voy a tener algunas actividades por allí, pero yo les dije que usted preparara una. Puede buscar en internet, puede ser un cuento, puede ser una lectura comprensiva. Puede ser un, un dictado, puede ser uh, un ejercicio que usted encontró en, en la web, solo que lo, lo, lo digamos, lo, lo, lo colocan en un documento Word, amor, que, si, que no vamos a tener ninguna dificultad con, con la grabación de nuestro video. Eh, videos de YouTube, pues no se pueden desplegar por acá. Si usted gusta, lo, lo puede desplegar en, en, o lo puede compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp para que todos pues podamos este, ver de qué se trata la actividad que nos van a compartir ese día. ¿Ok? Eh, todos deben de estar listos con un ejercicio para que lo podamos desarrollar. ¿Ok? All right. Any question?
Preguntas? No question. No questions. Ok. Now, oh, ya este, se aseguraron de, de tener todos los ejercicios completos y haber obtenido un puntaje eh, del 100%. Si no lo han hecho, pues háganlo para pues yo colocar ahí el puntaje que ustedes han obtenido. Si no hay preguntas, comentarios o algo que quieran compartir con, con todos acá, pues lo dejamos hasta acá. Y si no, pues todavía tenemos un par de minutos por ahí para que ustedes puedan expresar algo que tengan ahí en sus corazones. Eh, solo un momento, yo eh, le escribí a la chica que había pedido, estaba reportando que no, no le daba paso la, la, la actividad, pero no sé si le dice a ella nada más eh, en la parte de abajo, porque el cuadrito ese creo que a todos nos sale, donde dice que no hay notas agregadas, pero abajo está como el botoncito de anterior y siguiente. Tendría que darle en el siguiente para avanzar a la siguiente. Creería yo que tal vez si prueba, si le da paso. Gracias, Veraliz. Gracias, gracias, Veraliz. Eso está muy bien. Que si hay alguna duda, yo no sé, en realidad no, no he visualizado si, si este, en el enlace que ustedes tienen difiere un poco la plataforma con respecto a, a la que nosotros tenemos como docentes, pero pues creería que, 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 es, que es exactamente igual, pero si hay algo diferente, pues por ahí se pueden ir apoyando ustedes, como el comentario que hace Vera Lija, aclarando cualquier duda por ahí respecto a las actividades. Eh, la actividad que hice al inicio de que nos compartieran qué expresión se aprendieron este día, eso va a continuar, ¿ok? Eso va a continuar. Todos los días una nueva expresión, por lo menos una. Por lo menos una. ¿Ok? Que nos lo compartan al inicio de la clase. Por ahí alguien, creo que alguien que mencionó algo acerca de los challenges. <ríe> en el básico uno estuvimos trabajando con algunos challenges. ¿Ok? Estuvimos trabajando de one minute speech, two minute speech. Uh, en three minutes speech. Cada, cada viernes le agregábamos, se este, dejaba una tarea en donde eh, cada participante tenía que hablar la primera semana un, un minuto, la segunda semana durante dos minutos, la tercera semana durante tres minutos y la última semana durante cuatro minutos. Okay. Eh, si ustedes gustan, pues podemos trabajar con él. Con esas actividades, bien pueden elegir, uh, como es pura práctica, lo que se nos viene el viernes, pueden elegir um, hacer una actividad de eso, puede ser un speech, ¿ok? En donde usted diga, bueno, es, en, en el speech yo voy a hablar que durante dos minutos. Si hacemos básico, básico dos, ¿ok? Yo creo que eh, le podemos ir agregando un poquito más. Pero igual, este, el enfoque, recuérdense, cada vez que vean ahí repaso, es que deben de preparar una actividad, ¿ok? Para compartirla en el grupo. Por supuesto, del tema que hemos estado estudiando en los días anteriores. ¿Preguntas? ¿Questions? No questions. Ok, so if there are no questions, let us see tomorrow, people, and have an excellent night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night.